How's it going guys? We're back with Ellie Noir. And I am not driving right now. Oh I am. Didn't let me drive. Two seconds ago. <laughs> that was easy. Shut his hat off. They just drop that gun. Backup will be here soon. Look at this guy. <laughs> Stay down. I'm staying down. I can't climb through a window. Oh, I don't know what happened. Um, just does that something. Ah, get in. Cover. Yeah. That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Don't think it is. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. That's sweet. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? He doesn't seem very happy. <clears throat> Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, but wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers, stop! LMPD! You can go screw yourselves. He's not a very fast runner. He's hiding in the alley! There. Stop now or I will shoot. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Doug, watch your fire. Don't want to do this, Wendell. Get down from there right now. Give it up, Wendell. Come on. I oh, know. Stay the hell away from me. They could have got him. You've got to be 
Hit him! You fucking asked for it. Why is he going after? Like, he's got no other way down, so we just waited at the end. I've done my time. It's over, Bowers! You assholes already screwed me once. That cannot be his voice. Give it up, Bowers! There's nowhere left to go! I knew that would happen. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Punch him then. I forgot <laughs> I forgot what buttons are what. Why is he not? Uniform makes you feel good. Wait, there we go. Forgot you meant to hold it not. Just press it down once. What you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? <laughs> Casual question. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership, Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Weiss, 5. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 1. Candidate Kelso! I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! Oh. So, I'm guessing this guy is out to get me or something. May have something to do with the ending. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. What's this another? LAPD! Could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. I like the investigation ones. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Broad daylight. Crowded street. I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Mm, let's... <laughs> see Galea uh, Park. Such a that's a gangster name right there. Total fifty-two fifty. Pearl earl pearl earrings. Payments made. Oh, he's made all the payments. C Galetta. Playway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Hmm. 
say I sent your future. You are dead. <laughs> Look at your eye. <laughs> what is in your eye? Examine. Well, there's nothing here. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. No, there's nothing special here. No. Yeah, apart what we've seen this, put away. I don't really know where else to look. The other arm. Hmm. His tie? Can we get his tie? Oh no, we've done everything. Search location. Make sure we check the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. Uh, can I can I help you, sir? What are you? D it's her. She. I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. It was her. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss, Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. And you are. Galleta. Clovis Galleta. That's the name. Christian is on the right. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. know what happened and why you're going to tell me there's nothing to tell I've done nothing wrong it was her how can you prove different because of this picture. your pearl earrings miss Galetta you've been paying for them for a whole year stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store oh god I won't lose the earrings will I you could lose your freedom you little fool if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation mr. Kalu Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Does that mean we're eating? They're very angry with Mr. Gage and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Um. Which jewelry store? Hartfields, Broadway between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Kalu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. It turns to what happens. When you fire a gun, you do pull the trigger. You dipshit. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. 
How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many. And they were so loud. Pretty sure there was three. Okay, you're telling the truth. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang. And then another. And then three very quickly close together. Five. Five. Well yeah, then. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened, Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... my... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. See, I, I would have thought it was her, but... We marked on the map and easy to find. So we need to go to these... this place. Um, is that a nice show? Really, there's still n nothing. No one putting a perimeter around. Oh well. What? Better to do? Come on, I got friends who work at the exam. How about 50 bucks for the exclusive? Crime scene contaminated. You're behind the wheel. Am I meant to leave? Yeah, I am. Maybe because I hit him. Well, I didn't hit him with the car, but the car was near him. Hartfields. Jewelry store. I think this guy's going to be a Jake. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Hey, go. Hello! Get back here! here. See him? Ah, fuck. Broad has socks on. What the hell? So fucking close. Get dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Too late, Kalu! Oh my god! What the fuck? Why would it tell me to aim if I wasn't meant to shoot him? Come on. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. I don't think you will. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Hurry, officer! He's getting away! Kalu! Get back here! Shoot the creep! Running. Right, just don't shoot me. I just don't get why it tell me to aim if I'm not meant to shoot. Too late, Kalu! Don't 
make it worse, Kalu. Be careful. He looks dangerous. Fuck's sake. <laughs> He'll slow up the bench. Oh no, he's gonna get hit by her. He's gonna get hit by her. Get him, tackle him. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. Shoot it in his face. Oh, that's a nice face, is that? The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely some. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. But it would be really bad at this. animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. Shut your hole. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Edgar. Eyes brown, hair brown, age 39, sex male. Argument with the guy. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. I believe that you're lying. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Who well, we have? This. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Here's my intuition. Parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that stump Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Oh, poor guy. 
Poor Jew. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. Although I had to use Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Hmm. Now, I'd use my intuition because I had no clue for that one. Your actions have earned your promotion. Right, okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. Be sure to leave a like and a comment. Um, ow. Sorry. <laughs> Usually, leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video, and be sure to subscribe if you want to see any more Ellie Noir videos or Resident Evil, etc., etc. Um, every of the accounts, I really appreciate it a lot, and thank you very much for watching.